I, uh, yeah, okay. Welcome back to another episode of Rick and Esther Have a Time. My name is Rick, and today's special guest, we have Esther, <laughs> Esther Pravitsky. I can't see what I look like. Cause... Why would you want to be in such a bad mood? <laughs> The joke I just, we did earlier. I want to know, but it's fine. Look right there. I then it's I can't see. Well, I don't understand. Are, when you normally podcast, are you looking straight in front of you at a mirror? Is a mirror usually producing your podcast? Yeah. <laughs> well, I usually podcast to the mirror. Did you, when you were little, do fake podcasts? Did I fake podcasts when, when I was you, little? Yeah. Did you know what a podcast was? No, when you but were I still did it. Isn't that making? What were you in a bubble bath? Oh, you didn't take baths or showers. No, I did take baths. What did you? Where I did haven't you... taken a shower in six years. We know. That's good merch. <laughs> Wait, why? You're so obsessed with good merch. That's all I wear. I'm literally wearing. I oh, know we can't do this again. I no, we did this last episode. I, ooh, look at that squat. Wow. Oh my God, you would be great in prison. Mm. Why? Because I'm so funny and I can entertain the troops? Is that what they're called in prison? Does anybody know? <laughs> mm, juicy booty. When Johnny Cash played that, that I made a man then, was that to the troops in prison? Wait, I I I'll don't wait. know. Just, okay, I want to tell you something that like... Oh, you, you're coming with an idea? No, it's... I've only been awake for 90 minutes, so right. like this is very hard for me but i just want to i have to share something vulnerable and i don't want you to make fun of me so you have oh. to okay yeah so wait just so just so i'm clear so i could set the proper expectations you're probably not doing a bit this is something very vulnerable that you're waiting to share on the podcast yeah so you have my attention okay thank you and i don't want to be made fun of like i'm looking you know when sometimes you you i'm looking for support is this real yes i could do that okay i, I would say maybe at least trim it <laughs> trim some of your nipple hair you can't I, trim nipple hair. You pluck it. I just think if a woman... Can I call you a woman? Are you, are you offended? If a woman wants to have body hair, that's her choice. But like, I, for, as far as the nipple hair is concerned, it's... I've been told it's time to... Yeah, okay, to groom. So this morning, mm. I did something really bad. That, into, you're not really into the mic. I did something bad that I have not done. It, it, it's like so rare that this happens that I you only... showered. No, that is rare, but... I slept through Pilates and I didn't go. What do you normally do? Are you there to clean the mats <laughs> or the benches? What do you do at Pilates? <laughs> I I said I need support. This is really traumatic for Wait, me. Wait, do you actually exercise? I'm, be, I'm being, I'm, listen, I just want to know what's a joke or not. Do you really go and do Pilates what to, to make friends who are maybe successful on TikTok? What do you go to the Pilates studios for? I do like looking at what the other women wear. The other women wear. I do like seeing when they're, and also I like seeing what bags they have. Like I do like the sense of community. That's why you go. But I do work out, but I always have to modify. You're right about sure. that. Like when they're asking you to do exercises, you say, can I just sit during this? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so... I have you ever done that where you had plans and then you didn't set an alarm because you trusted yourself and then so relatable. Have I ever missed something because I slept through? Yeah. Really? Sure. Wait, are you being are you joking with me? Have I ever slept and missed something? Of course I've slept and missed something. Can you give me examples? Because I feel so low and bad and like disgusting and shitty. Right. Well, you wouldn't feel that way if you went to Pilates. Can you tell me of something that you slept through yeah um because the only other time i slept through something was when i first moved to la i was 21 i'd been here for like three months and i had a flight back to go to the girl i babysat's birthday party and i slept i got there but i slept through the initial flight and it just wow that was when i first started open micing so so you were in california for three months to live out your dreams of being in the or and people spinning in your mouth for a while okay and it, then it, well, one just, guy spit in my mouth at one show that I went to. <laughs> I happen was to have been at that show. Was it on stage? He was. You were at the end of the stage, like this. No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. There's no in way. The OR, I remember it vividly. That's that wasn't me. You're misremembering. I remember it because I remember they said this little kid Esther, and at the time I really thought because you looked at the time you looked young, <laughs> and I thought Jesus, this fat kid, this fat piece of shit, annoying kid. That I can't that smell is, from back here, but it looks like hasn't showered at that point. It was a role I was playing. Yes. And speaking of which, are, are you stop, are you stopping playing them and only eating them now? 
rolls. So you got spit in your mouth, and I'm like, "Is my this... boyfriend?" It was. It was another person. No, what? That, you're misremembering that. I would never ever let that someone. Well, else... that person was on stage. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it was fake. Only. <clears throat> only a. I'm. I don't only. I only want spit from someone I'm attracted to. And that is the, what makes you a classy bitch. <laughs> we'll be right back after. Oh, we don't have sponsors. No shit. <laughs> Would you, know, you let a girl spit in your mouth? Oh my god! It, uh, there's only one person I would let, and that that's that's my that's my baby girl. Yeah, so you would let her spit in your mouth. Yeah, but but I I at the time I just remember like I thought you were a kid. Yeah. Oh. Wait, and it was you, like two in the morning because you so used you, to sell yourself as a kid. Yeah, you fell for my bit. I, I fell for it. I when I saw that happening, I got up and I said, "Not on my watch." <laughs> That's why I'm still not past at the comedy store because I threw a whole big thing because I thought that this little, ugly, <laughs> stupid, stinky girl was getting spit in. <laughs> Fuck, that bothered me so much. Only to find out that you were a 45-year-old <laughs> haggard fucking tr comic trying to make it. This was before you figured out to use your parents and all your acts. <laughs> this is not true. I met you. You knew who I... At the time, no, the first time I remember seeing you, honestly, was that. Kid Esther. You don't remember meeting me when... It Oh. You, you talked about this in the last episode yeah. that I met you with Boone. You don't remember that. I, You were like I, applying. You were like, it was during the day. I could remember. Maybe you I could imagine being around you and Boone. I don't know which came first out of that. But I oh, do okay. I do remember that when I saw this kid on stage or at the bottom of the stage getting spit in. <laughs> it's not which true. at the time I thought was weird. But now I get it. You need to figure out your way into comedy. <laughs> it's not true. It absolutely is true. And that was I thought I was a kid. And then I remember when I asked you how old you were. And he said, 45. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, it's just an act. <laughs> I'm 45. I was 21. Yeah. You still don't look a, a day over, uh, over, you know. Under? Oh. Uh, sorry, I have itches. Of course you do. Do you not? Do you think it's from the food you eat or the cleanliness <laughs> issue in the house? Do I not what? Do you not have an example? I'm really yeah, in I need don't know. of I, I support. I slept through, like, I mean, as a kid, I, I had over 80 tardies at school. Wait, that to... sentence was so Don't say it. lame. Careful. Oh, I thought you were going to Over... call him a derogatory name. Why would you think? You say a lot of stuff about black guys. Oh, my God. She does. I know she's joking and it's in like closed company, but she has a lot of jokes about. That is not true. He just said the sentence over 80 tardies. I've never. That's so lame. When you say it again, it sounds like you're making fun. You're like re-saying something. Are you calling me a retardies? No. I... Are, you, are you making fun of black guys and calling me retardies? How was black guys involved in that? You don't remember that. I actually I don't. Say, okay. I, you don't want me to s repeat it. And why don't we just leave it alone? Okay. Yeah. You remember now. No, I don't. <laughs> Danny, thank you so much for doing this. She's just doing jokes. Oh my but god! I understand it's in poor taste. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of poor taste, is there anything you don't eat? Is there any? Is <laughs> did you have Taco Bell? Were this you morning? really eighty times late? Yeah. So at the when I was a kid, now you're gonna make fun of. Never mind. I know you're gonna make fun of me, and you're gonna think it's a joke if I'm gonna be vulnerable about something. No, do it. All right. Can we get her a milkshake or something to keep her distracted? Do you do you want anything? <laughs> this has sweetened. Yeah, you have a lot of vanilla in there? Yeah, vanilla and dates. Notice there's no chocolate? <laughs> Wait, I, I don't like chocolate in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know, we know. <laughs> you know. Also, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> don't, Dave told me that you wake up, that you, that you always have little chocolates. By the, like some people drink uh, lemon water in the morning, but don't you have little chocolate, truffles? Chocolate water? <laughs> don't you have chocolate water? <laughs> chocolate milk, but you don't like milk because of... The Jewish stomach. No, I do like milk. I was breastfed till three and a half. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you not? I don't were know. Were you the favorite kid? No. You have that. Maybe energy. If, if if I was, my I was my mom's favorite, but my dad's second favorite. Oh. Okay. I still make jokes for because my, my brother was into sports a lot, and I didn't play sports until I got older, and I sometimes will make jokes that to to my mom. Well, my dad's there to listen. I'm like, mom, how come dad? <sighs> Oh, you're doing my joke, but at the wrong time. <laughs> I believe that's how you sleep. <laughs> you smell your arms? <laughs> no, that's what it sounds like if you have sleep apnea. Do you? Do you have sleep apnea? <laughs> um, I don't think so. Does any does does your partner who you sleep with have it? Do they sound like that? Um, only when I'm horny. What? That was a joke about me putting my penis in her mouth. Ew! 
Ew. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. Why don't you talk about your stinky pussy after a I flight on Trash Tuesday didn't. some more? Oh, you're so you're stewing again. You Richard the Stew. Don't you call me that. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. Mark that moment. Don't you call Richard the Stew. Don't you call me that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you eating stew. <laughs> No, but go back to something you were saying. Whichever oh, okay. One. That's you very generous of you. Dealer's choice. So I would say like my mom, when my dad could listen, I'm like, how come dad liked Matt so much more? See, because I didn't like baseball. And instead of being like, yes, Ricky, that's what it was. My mom would be like, no, that's not what it is. Like my mom's over defensive about it, which makes me think, wait a minute. Is that the truth? Uh-huh. Then what? Just that. Just that like my dad. I think my dad loved both of us the same, but I do know as kids, he connected with my brother more on sports mm -hmm. and I took dance and pottery class. So my mom- You did I, not take dance. Oh, absolutely. Dance class and pottery class. What dance? Uh, I was taking dance class a few different times. Are you dancing with your microphone? It's actually- Isn't that a it Luther Vandross song? It actually looks really nice and graceful. To dance with my microphone again. Oh, you don't know Luther Vandross because of you're not a fan of black artists. That's not true. What's What song am I making what, what parody of? I don't know, but I'm very- Motown is one of my favorite categories of music. What? Nice. You're jealous of me? A little. Yeah. I just I want to have Stu as much as you. Stu? <laughs> So Esther, you texted me something you said that you wanted to talk about. And I'm no, like, that was not about on the podcast. That was a promotional question. We're, we're, okay, turn this off for a sec. Are you mad at me right now? Nobody. Trying to bring that up? You never. By the way, it's I been, didn't understand what you meant. No, I, it's probably been at? 10 plus minutes. And you haven't given me an example of something specific that you saw. I was through. talking about being tardy to school. It was a whole bunch of times. But give me an adult example. Oh, I mean, I know I kind of make my obligations oh as an my adult. God. I thought you meant when I was a little kid where I didn't understand other people's because this is the second episode of this we've done. You've been late both times. One minute late does not count. One minute late downstairs means four minutes. What time do we end up getting started here? This is so inappropriate. Five I also, in. I also, by the way, requested we you do look really later good right now. because I knew it was the I'm day joking. after a holiday I'm joking, week. You don't. No, you know what? <laughs> I don't care. I didn't want to go here, but I something happened last night, and I did not want to bring this up. I said to myself last night, "I'm not bringing it up." Hey, can I tell you something? You have a safe space with me. Do you really mean that? Yeah. Look at me. I am looking. I've been looking at you. Yeah. And you, you have to promise that you're not going to get upset. I can't. I don't make promises like that, and I don't know how I'm going to feel. But I can tell you, I'm here with you and I'm listening to you and you have a space and I hope that I also have a space to respond as authentically as possible. But if you really need my support on something, then I'm here to listen. Okay. Really quick, one sec. Do we have a milkshake coming? <laughs> okay. Vanilla, right? And a white guy's delivering it? <laughs> Not for me. Okay. So. Wings? <laughs> Do you want wings? I would like wings. Okay. But uh, buffalo sauce on the side, extra barbecue. Yeah, buffalo sauce on it and on the side, right? No, I like barbecue flavor, not buffalo. Mm. Well, that's that's very open of you. <laughs> so last night, oh. I really, oh, I'm I'm like nervous to Why say. Why don't this. we cut to cut to a commercial real quick? We'll come right back. Okay. You can collect yourself. Okay. That's what you look like too. What, question: When you look at yourself and you do this. Yeah. <laughs> and then you put it down. You think you still look like that? Yes. Good. So last night. Oh, no. This is going to get like, this is going to, this is a big. If this is about how your Taco Bell wasn't open 24 hours, I can imagine what no, that did to you. No, but speaking of that, I want to, on my way here, I drove past a pot store that is open at, it opens every morning at, guess what time it opens? 4, 11 in the morning. 6 a.m. Can you believe that? That's nuts. Thank you. Yeah. No, wait, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, I think that's crazy. Right? Like, what's up with that? What are your thoughts? <sighs> Jeez, I mean, I have so many. <laughs> First, I guess they think it's worth it because people must go in there at that time. It's 6 a.m. Some people need to get... Uh, Before uh, Have work? you heard of Wake and Bake? You don't wake up for your obligations. Oh, my god. Some people, when they wake up, like they want a little something to look forward to. Yeah. So maybe they're like on their way to work. They need to stop by the weed store. Okay. Also, it's a talking point. Like, you're talking about it. 
Oh yeah. yeah, it's it's memorable. It's a memorable time. But I guess it's like all weed stores. Yeah, just put your body stuff on the floor. Yeah, all weed stores have to close at ten, so I guess they're like we'll maximize by opening at six. I don't know. Jeez, that must have been really tough for you. Thanks for sharing. Anyway, is that what you were going to tell me? No, no, no. Last night. Oh no. I was at a social gathering. Do you want to, not want to give us any more details? So we could you paint a picture? It'll get there. Well, I was at like a uh, a backyard event. Right. There was tacos. Do you need some uh, handkerchiefs for the snot that you're wiping off on your hands right no, now? No, it's not. There's nothing. Okay. I was at a, a backyard event. I, actually, and... you're, you're disgusting. <laughs> Can you see something on my nose? Yes. Okay. Is it <laughs> oh, my brain? Hey, always. <laughs> So Wait, I, I, tell is me that this... your brain leaking out when you get boogers? Okay. Hey, real quick. I've noticed that whenever I look up your nose, I find, I see boogers and stuff. Do you ever look in the mirror and see there's nothing there and like, oh, fuck, I got to go get a booger? <laughs> Just to feel right? Just like, yeah. <laughs> you have okay. really big nostrils. It's because I am a thinker. Oh, good. When are you going to get your teeth fixed? I did, twice. They look. It looks like you have a big tooth and then somebody just drew some lines. <laughs> You look like how people learn to draw teeth. <laughs> they just do this like a rectangle and then they break it I'll up. I'll have you know that my partner loves Has my sleep teeth. Apnea. <laughs> he loves my teeth. I believe it. Okay. Especially during blowjobs. I'm just kidding. That was gross. So I was at something like this is no, this is you should be. It's fine. It's actually fine. And I ran into someone there, and they brought you up. Oh, no. Did, I, I, didn't, did I hurt them? Actually, you came up because of they were talking about an, another event where we were all at, where you were doing stand-up. Remember at Whitney's thing? Mm-hmm. And then this person said that they recently did your podcast, mm -hmm. and that they were really wanting to call you and ask you to shelf it. Okay. What's, what, you have to burp? <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Are you okay? Are you? Am I what? Okay. I'm okay. Okay. So someone that you had on your podcast recently isn't like, it's not, it didn't, was it, did you have one where you like, I did have one where I'm thinking like, uh, okay, yeah, it might be that one. Okay, but I'm not going to shelf it unless they ask me to. Okay, but I was thinking like, this isn't a great episode. Really? Yeah, we actually filmed it here a couple of days ago. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm sure they were joking, so it's no big deal. But well, I... if it's the one I'm thinking of during the podcast, they kept saying it the entire time, like you're not going to post this, right? So it doesn't really seem like. <clears throat> okay. It, you know news to me and in fact i'll say this when they said they did your podcast i was like why would you ever do a podcast with rick and then dave was like well you just started officially doing one with him yeah don't but you do your own podcast too but nobody really watches it because there's nobody funny on it no i don't put video out that's why no one watches it oh, yeah i think people i don't think that many people are, are dying to see you <laughs> i think they just want to listen to how interesting you are thank you but the problem is you if you don't spit yeah, feel it. oh man is, is that a recurring issue for you thick spit you know, it's so funny how you, like when you take improv classes which yeah. i know you've taken and just never really understood <laughs> You learn to just kind of live in a moment until you find something unusual and then call out the game. Mm -hmm. And you get so excited when you find I anything. Do get excited. Oh, you have spit. <laughs> you have spit, you stewing bitch. <laughs> Hey, Rick, does it feel good to have spit? And it's like, you get so excited because you never have a real thing. No, it's because you always make fun of me for being gross. So when I see you I being- I make fun of you for being gross. I told, honest, honestly, here's a real moment. Honestly, we make light and jokes because we laugh about it. I totally, I think you are a vile fucking pig. Listen to me, seriously. And we make jokes about it. Yeah. But not making fun of you. Oh. I'm not making fun of you. What I, is it then? I'm acknowledging, I'm, I'm letting you know that I see you. Thank, okay, I do like to be seen. <laughs> yes, I see you. How come you don't have video for your podcast? <laughs> because, honestly, um, because I just haven't figured that out. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's not that. For someone who does this with their phone so much. Can I also say, though, uh, no, the real thing is I do think that podcasting is don't don't you feel like. Did you see how I got a laugh when I snored and you didn't? That's so you're racist against girls. See what she's doing? <laughs> For those of you who didn't figure this out, Danny is. Would you like to be called African-American oh or a God. black person? Which is neither of the two or what she refers to you as. What the fuck? You called him a producer. <laughs> Okay, I was just about to make a point. No, yeah, I have I'm it. I'm sure you were. I found it. Don't you feel like there's some podcasts that you like to watch and there are some that you like to listen to? For me, let me just, please let me finish. When sure. I'm folding laundry. You and Dave's fucking you. <laughs> when I'm doing. Or Dave when he's fucking you. When, he, when you tell him to open his eyes. He goes, just please let me finish. <laughs> Burned are you fucking bitch. We'll be right back. I... When I fold laundry, when I drive, when I drive. You don't wash your clothes. All right, driving is more believable. Go ahead. I fold Dave's laundry. I want to only listen to a podcast. So I believe. While you're driving, you only listen. Sure, that makes sense. So I believe that oh, I love video podcasts. I watch them. I consume them. I make them. But I do think that we're <laughs> for what? I just think you're. I'm so glad we're doing this. I, I, I think you're so here with me. <laughs> I think it's a an art form or a your tongue form is yellow. My tongue's yellow. Uh -huh. I, uh, yeah. So <laughs> that's a good merch. My tongue is yellow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that we need to still remember that there's audio listeners. Of course, this isn't only video. Yeah. I know. So, what was the next question? I didn't ask you a question. Okay. I I honestly maybe it's the coffee. But I'm really, I'm really excited about doing this podcast with you. Really? Yeah. Say more. <sighs> That's, there's buckets up there. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Wow. You know, I think Blue Chew might get a little upset by that. Why? Because I think the audience at home, if they're soft, they won't need Blue Chew. All they have to do is watch that read and they're going to get rock hard. Thank you. And that's what we call a joke. <laughs> if you're somebody if you're somebody who sleeps with somebody like Esther, chances are you're flaccid as fuck. <laughs> Could I say flaccid? I doubt it. Let's talk about sex. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get the extra confidence in bed. Listen up. Bluechew.com. You know what this is. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets. Do and you do, you don't take vitamins, do you? No. Right. And at a fraction of the cost. Why don't you take vitamins? You can it's take a Flintstone really, vitamin. It's hard to remember. Is it? You can take them any... I also don't like swallowing. If they could chew them... You can take them anytime, day or night. Also, so you I don't like swallowing. Can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Wait, uh, Esther, listen, we're doing two things here, all right? And this all gets to stay in. We're doing two things. One, we're making fucking cash by selling products, but two, we're selling a product for the company, but for the consumer, we're trying to offer a solution. Yeah. So let's not bullshit them okay. by just reading everything that's on the thing. But that's the fact. They need the information, and then we can no, color no, no. it but in. But we got to find a middle, a find middle area. Find it then. Oh, the I best mean, part? Uh, uh, making mark? everybody soft right now. It's all done online. Well, then we'll sell more blue chews. So no visits to the doctor's office. No awkward conversations. We don't need to read all. They get it. They and get, no waiting I'm, in I'm line. Gonna, I'm looking out for the audience right now. We, you heard enough about this stuff. There's some stuff that we have to read. The call to action will let you read that. But just check I this. I would want to know that Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door. And just Really? You care that it's made in the USA? Yeah, I do. Actually, that is pretty nifty. And shipped in the discreet package so that your wife can't see? I wouldn't think that the wife cares. I would think you wouldn't want your neighbors to care. I'm sure the wife knows. Well, if the pills are, well, if the chews are for your mistress, then maybe you don't want your wife to know. Oh, ooh. now here's where we're getting somewhere that is a little edgy. If you have a mistress 
and you're going soft, chances are your erectile dysfunction is is is, is an issue for guilt. In which case, no, it's well, not. You just need blue chew. I don't know, man. I think people could benefit from lots of different things. Uh, blue chew as well, but like if you're feeling guilty for cheating and you need to take a pill, listen to your dick. All right. No. Be fucking. Take just blue be loyal. Chew. Blue Chew wants... Are you promoting infidelity? <laughs> Blue Chew, if it's helping Blue Chew, baby, I am. I'll tell you something. What I do like about you is you're fucking... You want to get that cash. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover... The way you said you and sex was as if you and sex rhyme. Blue <laughs> Chew wants you to have better sex. <laughs> Discover you know, your options your at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. You but like we, that? I did like that. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code HAT, you know, like H-A-T for habit time, at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. Wait, that's such a good deal. That's bluechew.com promo code HAT to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast because they're our first sponsor and we love you, Blue Chew. Thank you so much. And that's why this first ad was really long. But I want the people at home to know that the only time we're doing long ads like this is if uh, we're talking about Esther's show dates. Cut it down if you don't, if you think it's too long. Any of that can be taken out. Okay. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Better Help. Oh, I didn't even realize you were still there. Well, I am here and I use BetterHelp because I have to deal with you on our podcast and it's making me have a hard time. And so I need to go to BetterHelp. I mean, if that was an audition, I would say thank you for coming in. <laughs> And then you would leave and I would go, I mean, talk about somebody who needs therapy. And if she needs therapy but is too afraid to leave the house and she wants to do it online and if she doesn't want to have to wait in the waiting rooms and also if she finds a therapist that she doesn't like, she could match up with a brand new one right away. Licensed therapists, go to betterhelp.com. Now listen, I've been in therapy for a long time. You could probably tell if I'm putting up with this one. <laughs> but all jokes aside, I don't think therapy is something that is just for the people who have the most conscious traumas and the things they need to get over. Everybody could benefit from understanding their patterns of behavior, their triggers, and how they could just overall feel a sense of calm. That's why I suggest BetterHelp. Head on over to betterhelp.com slash hat to save 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp. H-E-L-P. Dot com slash hat for 10% off. And remember, if you're down and troubled, and you need a helping hand, just call betterhelp.com. And now that's an ad read. Really good. No, really good. Hi, it's me. Thank you for listening to this show in Better or in Worse. I'm a stand-up comedian and I'm on tour. The What? The Dream Without a Dream tour. Um, and I will be in New York City July 22nd through, no, July 19th through 23rd. 24th. I come back on the 24th, but the last show is on the 23rd. Those are almost sold out. Get your tickets if you're coming. I will also be in Oxnard, DC, Boston, Madison, and a lot more. Get tickets at estheronice.com. <sighs> I'll tell you something. I do feel like if we do this every week, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, my body's going to look really good because I'm getting a big workout carrying you through all of these things. Oh, my God. You have to keep leaning on that, but it, it's like commit to the fact that you want to do this of with me. Of course I want to do this with you. I'm, I've said this a million times. I'm very funny with you. Oh. <laughs> Are you on an SSRI? No. Really? No, but ju just say it. You, you don't have to use it to the, the abbreviation. You could just say what it stands for. I don't even know what it stands for. A serotonin inhibitor. You missed one S. Well, it's raining down my pants. Do you remember that joke? No. Kid caught. Must uh, have been a good one. What's going on with your face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We need that milkshake and wings. <laughs> we need that milkshake and wings. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's a, it's an old joke where uh, kid is, kids in, in class. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Honestly, if you turn the lights off and you open your mouth, I feel like I could get light. A light. It matches this yellow light a little bit. You have a warm, light tongue. 
Um, do you do you not want to hear what this joke is? Because no, I guess I do. I just I know it won't be good, but I'm curious. It's not about it being good. It's just about it existing and being part of. You know, I actually. Oh, so do you just you just say whatever comes to your mind? Like when I see spit in your mouth, and then you shame me for calling it out. This is the same thing. Uh. <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, Esther. Whatever you need. Okay. Did you get those fake nails so you could scratch all your ashes? <laughs> Wait, what? You've been itching yourself? Yeah. Like a like you have like is it from the food that you're no, eating? No, but wait, can I tell you something about that? Okay, you know about when, your rashes? No. When you know you know when you pet a dog and you hit their special spot and they go like this? Are you talking about when your Dave is petting you? No, but it will get something like that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. You know everyone knows what I'm talking about? Okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> so I literally, when my dog, this is going to be so weird. When Donut? My, my dog named Donut, when she kisses me. You do this. I do. I'm yeah. not kidding you and I can't control it. Is I it literally go like this. Is it because you're, 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 you're so excited to have somebody kiss you that's not doing you a favor? She is doing me a favor. You think? I think your dog probably loves you. I think that my dog is a little bit like, um, it, it wants me and Dave to back off. You know Back this, off of each other or the of, off of donut? Her. You know the scene in Back to the Future where Biff is in the car with Lorraine and he's like macking on her and she's like, get off me, get off mm -hmm. me. That I feel like is me and Dave are Biff and Donut is Lorraine. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So I, I often look at you like Biff. Explain. But when Biff is older. Mm -hmm. when, when Biff he has, has the, the cane. Oh, when he has the casino though. He's in charge. No, that no. Oh, that's... Oh. Old Biff when he's like, you know, looking through the almanac trying to help young Biff and young Biff is like I see that. Yeah. yeah. But at least old Biff with the cane schemed up some shit, you know? Absolutely. Look at you. You got on other people's podcast that's getting you some money. <laughs> that is not true. Well, you can't do it on your own. What can... <laughs> I do you you don't have a solo first of all <laughs> I mean <laughs> you don't have a solo podcast yeah I saw oh I bring in different guests all the time yeah so it's the same thing I you're pro again he's projecting here's the thing with Rick you guys listen to me you can guys we push in push in Rick literally looks at me and he sees himself and it's really sad because Rick you're a tall man then how do i see myself in you you're a short dribble yeah exactly that's what's so awful about oh so it. you think i see myself as, me. as you oh my, you would i have this type of dare i say arrogance <laughs> if i saw myself the way i see you that is what arrogance is it's arrogance comes from like a very a sad place not a happy place do you really think i'm arrogant or do you just think i'm confident and playful honest real Real quick, we should have a thing. We should have like a buzzer or a thing. Here's what I would like. I have an idea. I like it. Okay, are you ready? And we can make it out of chocolate. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the uh, a button that we push, and when we push it, like the lights. Well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there if we get there. But like the big version of it is, we push a button, and it goes. You know, in Deal or No Deal, when they do it, doo -doo, and I the lights not change. Watch that show. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, where the it, the lights change or something, and there's a 60 second timer, and we have to agree you can't fuck around during that. That is serious moment. So like when oh, you want me to be yeah. serious, so you have to like even if I want to do a bit or something, it's like you have to not. And we we're allowed one per episode each. Okay. Where we have a like a serious moment. Yeah, and there's I don't no remember what I was allowed. about to say and what what where I was going with this, but I do think that's a fun idea. Yeah. No, I want no jokeys allowed. But so. you know when you're having uh, sex or something, you know. Be, I've Some, had sex. Yeah, but I'm saying with like the other person comes where you're, you're, but you need to have like a safe word or something to get out of whatever you're doing. Yeah. But like there could be that like with comics where. Yeah, it's no bits. So. No bits. Yeah. Like you, like a timeout, but like a, like you, you really have to commit to it. Yeah. I just don't think you could. Oh, I, I'm serious. I'm serious all the time. Okay. We were talking about, oh, I do. You asked if I think you're arrogant or. Right, right, right silly and confident i think you're all three how about that that's really nice of me i'm more excited about this podcast this from during this episode than the last which i still was excited about but it's starting to feel like oh <clears throat> i think we could do this well so i was just i just was thinking about you know what you're you doing and it's something that dave always calls careful, me out careful i know think i know what you're gonna say what? are you saying i'm nagging you no okay 
No, it's that I always have to check in with like the stat. Like I always have to do like a whole. Oh, I, this I, I, I do connect to what you're saying to check in to feel like I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Yeah. Yeah, I do that. I like that, though. I like doing that. But Dave is like, why is it every like hour you're like, are oh, we meant right. to be together or not? He's like, we're just fine. Like, just chill out. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's too much. Well, for this, uh, admittingly, and we've talked about this like beforehand, how, and this isn't even you or you and me. This is my understanding of doing a podcast with another person week to week to week to week. How sustainable is it? So there is a little bit of a, there truly is a concern. And this is like a reinforcement that's like, no, this is exactly what, what it's supposed to be. It's Esther. It's going to show up usually a little, a couple minutes late. Am I an it? I like being an it. How do you identify? I is an it. Yeah, that's good. Thing. She, it. I do wish I could be AI. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Like, I wish that I, I don't, you know how like Pinocchio wants to be a real boy? Of course I know. That's like the biggest part of Pinocchio. Yeah, I don't, I want to be Pinocchio. I want to be fake. Well, I think you're on a great track. <laughs> You never know what Esther you're going to get. It depends on who she's around and what Wait, backyard party she's at. That's what my preschool teacher said about me. Yeah. Are you still in touch with her? <laughs> Isn't that interesting for me to assume that a preschool teacher is a she, but at least back then they usually were. Yeah. Because. Um, Probably a good more, thing. Yeah. Well, I don't know. When was my first guy teacher? I think until fifth grade. No, in, in kindergarten we had Mr. House who taught music. Shout out to Mr. House, by the way. Did he teach house music? No, but he got me into Motown and I'm really grateful for him. Yeah. Do you like boys to men when they sing about Motown? Boys to men is Motown. No. I think that they are on a Motown record. No, I don't know. But oh, I don't... you're talking about Motown records or Motown the genre? I don't know. Okay. I don't really like boys to men though. I don't, I don't really like... What? I love boys to you men. You do? Love. Why? Careful. What? <laughs> Careful. That's not really my era. I just... I don't even know one of course their... that's both of our eras. No. We... You're 22 also, aren't you? How old are you? 22. I actually have no idea how old you are. 38. Okay. How do I look? Oh. It's weird because like you do... Wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, you do... It's so weird that you, like, I just want you to I know. I see. I see your insult thing. Like, I see when you're geared, you're just so slow. <laughs> no, you know, no. you could see it coming. No. If you were a fighter, you would punch like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I because I want to say something serious. Right. I should really, we push the serious meter? I really do think that you're awesome, and I really like you. I I love you. Like Thank I you see so you much. across the room. Well, that's it. I see you across the room in New York City. I'm like, I, I love Rick. I've known him for so long. I love him as a person. But I really, you're just not a good looking guy. I understand. Okay. And that's okay. You might be good looking to other people. That I am appreciative. I actually told my girlfriend today, thank you so much for being attracted to me. That, really? Yeah. Didn't what, I say that? What did she say? She said, <laughs> <laughs> She just thinks I'm funny. But like, I actually, I'm typically, it's weird. I don't think you're that, I don't think, I, I don't think you're a good looking guy. Okay. It is weird because we I like actually, each other. I love, I'm very attracted to Jewish men and you are a Jewish man, but I, there's something wrong. Yeah. So. Probably you just couldn't see yourself with somebody like me. So it's for your, your ego is saying like, fuck that person. I know what you're talking about, but it's not that with you that's interesting because for the past couple of years and there, here's me really making myself like i don't vulnerable and also setting myself se self up here but the past couple of years setting myself uh, up here porky pig good impression look just like him i think uh but also that's actually going to contradict what i'm about to say okay i actually think and i i hope you, know, you don't care i think you're i'm so attracted to you thank you i think you are i think you're so pretty i think with the exception of your teeth also, your face, you do look like a potato. <laughs> I understand that. But like, I can't help but look at you and think, yeah, you have big eye, you know, eyes. <laughs> you know what you look like? You look like, 
a girl, the girl next door. Yeah. You know, who she's is a little sick. Yeah, she's a little <laughs> sick. She's not, she's not allowed outside. Yes. Have you seen Jack? No. That Robin Williams movie where he ages seven, seven, like every year or seven years. No. He's not allowed out because he has these things. You are like that without the aging aspect. We. Like I could picture walking by you, the girl next door, and seeing you. You know those old houses that have the third story attic where like there's a point like this and there's that circle window. I can little... tell you I saw all this before you said it. Yeah. I'm on and board. And I see you looking out at like at people. And the only time you get sunlight is when you open the door for the pizza delivery. I've never felt more seen loved this is how i want it to be in fact i just started trying to talk about this on stage like if dave loves me why does he let me out like why isn't it what, like what do you mean like the movie room you know where brie larson is trapped i haven't seen it but i do know the movie like i feel like if if you're real if someone really loves you like they shouldn't let you outside see i feel like if somebody loves you that means that they want the best for you and they want you to no. be happy and they don't feel ownership over you. I disagree. I believe that. Yeah. I want to be in somebody's attic looking out and like that I makes sense. I even have been saying a lot lately to Dave like let's board up the windows and just sit in here and Speaking rock. of board, your story is reminding me of another story that you told me which you're going to say, "Oh, I obsess over you because I listen and remember things." But you told me that your cousins <laughs> used to used guy. to go in the attic and not let not let upstairs and not include you to play. So I do think there's something to, oh, you are missing out. And there's some truth to wanting to be up in the attic and loved and wanted. Yeah. But that is kind of like a Mus Munchausen syndrome, which right. is, you would call a mustard on my sandwich syndrome, <laughs> which is you want, you feel love in a, in a, I'm, I apologize for the judgment here, but in an unhealthy way. Yes. And it's why you seek like this dynamic where people call you a miserable cunt. And I'm not saying that, but no. I'm just saying like the comedy community <laughs> and you seek that By the way, because that the is affection. If the comedy community refers to me as anything. At least you're on their radar. I'm doing it How right. How could you not? You're doing podcasts with all of them. Exactly. So I actually think that was a really solid um, articulation, observation. Like I, I really do think that was pretty, pretty good. Right. And there's realness there. And yes, that was a one time, very, very, very severe incident in my life, yeah. a traumatic core memory, if you yeah. will. When I, mean, I don't even have to, it happened. Yeah, when I could not find any of my cousins yeah. and I had to sit with the adults. And You're kind of like in Home Alone. You were uh, who, uh, uh, Culkin, the, the younger brother who pissed the bed and like nobody wanted to sleep with you or be with you. No, because and I didn't even do own, anything. You had wrong. a whole bunch of your own pizzas. Really? Do you not remember Home Alone? No, do you really remember movies you saw when you were young? Of course I remember movies. Also, and this is what happened last time when I referenced now, when I bring stuff up and I remember them, you th you <laughs> make jokes that I'm obsessing over them. I just remember things. How do you not remember Home Alone or Dumb and Dumber? I think we remember really different things because I have a good memory too, but it's like not, like I remember real, you remember real trauma. life. I remember real life, not movies. Well, how do no, I was too busy distracting myself with movies because I didn't have friends and there that was go. who raised me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um No, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> so you're you not and Dave. You're not No, this is relationship works, right? You're not on an SSRI. No. Are you on any medication? No. Oh. What makes you ask? Because and, I feel like we're similar just because you are I assume yes we you and I were both in comedy sim well similar ages been in it since the same amount of time yeah. like but um do you we both have a like we were also both actors yeah but how many you do you do drama doesn't matter I do drama I do drama and comedy so I mean winning another award this week from the television academy for as we see it very cool i i don't feel the need to flex on you don't have any awards for your drama i don't i don't need i just any. need people to i don't need it i just like people's because people see me as oh rick's the funny guy in on the west coast he's the funny one but it's like yeah i guess but i'm a drama guy are we really gonna talk about i'm a drama guy now and i want to sell myself as a drama guy so i want people to know yes this podcast is funny because i'm on it but <laughs> it's also i do drama we should do monologues we should learn monologues I would love to do that. We, let's have a monologue competition and we'll bring someone in to judge it. I don't know if why we need judges. Oh, that's fine. We don't have to, but as long as we do it. 
You know, um, I like this. Do I've... we do individual monologues and or do we do a scene together? Mm -hmm, both. Wouldn't that be cool for your reel to have a scene with me? <laughs> You fart again? Rick. An audio only. Would people think that was a fart? Rick. Yeah? I just don't know how much, like, I am. Your cheeks are drooping. No, I just don't know. For the audio only, Esther has been continually <laughs> wiping snot. Do you really, though, have autism? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to check. Do you really not eat chocolate in the morning? <laughs> I do. Okay. What's going on with you? You're fixing your nose and your eyes. I, Do you have allergies? This is the morning for Are you allergic for me. to comedy? <laughs> this is the morning for you. It is 1246. It's a holiday weekend. I True. had a late night last night. I was at I was out with friends. Oh yeah, it's interesting that you need to brag about that. I don't need to. Oh, I don't need to talk about that. Honestly, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about something funny I did last week. What did you, you say? You got <laughs> You really, you got me right where you want me. But no, I, to be, can I tell you something? I would kill it in a drama. I don't necessarily prefer it. Have you thought about doing like maybe playing a drama like in a Star Wars where you could be like a like I had Jabba a the Hutt's kid? for Star Wars. Yeah? Yeah. To play the Ooze? <laughs> and the Oz? No, to play a, a young female role. It wasn't necessarily for like a pretty role, but. I know. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you get it? They decided to go pretty. <laughs> but um, no, I really can I in all seriousness, I think we should both prepare monologues mm -hmm. um, and also a scene. And I think we should really let's see what's up. OK, but where I was going with this, where you what? God, those nostrils are big boys. It, not not your. I don't know if it's from your delivery or okay. just just like you are your point of view changes all the time. Yeah, but nothing you say phases me <laughs> I have nothing that you, you say feels relevant like when you make fun of my nostrils i don't even think are my nostrils i just think like esther's just trying stuff that's fine yeah that's okay i want you to get better at it okay i think i know how to you go first i'll remember okay no you go first um challenge yourself how native american stop I that is so weird. Okay. Stop um, just relying on the things that's easy for you and just doing the same things. That's what you do with me. I was learning from you. Got me. Go ahead. But if you have... So stop doing that, then do what instead? Find a, a voice instead of like your own, instead of just seeing what's trending on TikTok. It's so wild that you would say that because that the one thing I have is my own voice. Okay. Let me hear you I sing something. I have nothing else. Uh, is that Little Mermaid? Uh, yeah. Do you think I got that fast or would anybody get it that fast? Because I'm really good at like hearing a couple notes and knowing it. I think that one is, if you know it, you know it. Right. And it's really an easy one to go to. So just to be clear, when I said. It's also in the mind. It just came out. The movie just came out. When you when I say, do you find your own voice? Not only did you pick somebody else's voice to sing, you did it from a character who literally loses their voice. You wanted me to do an original song? Yes! <laughs> what do you guys think? Okay. 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 Right. Okay, give me another chance. That's a great lyric. That's the theme. Your song is called Give Me Another Chance by <laughs> Esther. What's your last name again? It's it's Polish, right? It's not Polish. It ends in a Y, not an I. It's Russian. Even though my grandparents were born here, I don't know. Use it for the song. What was it called again? Give me a chance. Give me another chance by Esther Pravitsky with a Y. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Give me another chance today. Give me another chance tomorrow when I ruin it again. Thank you. See what happens when I stop talking even for five seconds? What? Numbers. <laughs> 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 you know, there's a song that I want to play for you. Okay. Um, we were in the car. Um, um, I've never been in a car with you. Not you and I. Oh. If so, it would have to have been a bus. <laughs> but. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> no. Um, I want to go home. <laughs> you could go home. No, I'm ki I'm kidding. I literally could stay here all day. Yeah, I'm feeling that too. I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, my late? No, not this time. It's so weird. It's actually weird. You don't know how to take the word no. 
Because we walked in here and your partner is here and they said they didn't want to be involved and you keep trying to involve them. No, she... And I've been really respectful. It's almost like maybe I would be the better partner for that person. Thank you. I get I get what you're trying to do. Yeah. Believe me, I understand why you would say that. Um, and give it a go. Okay. But um, we, we're on the same page. You know what I'm... I'm yeah, she knows something. She doesn't mind me talking to her right now. We just wanted to talk with you, but there was a a, a rap. Uh, the, we like to freestyle rap. And uh, okay, I'm jealous of that. I want to freestyle rap with Dave. Um, do you want to do it with me? Okay. Do it. <laughs> but on the way over here, uh, I just like when people engage with me. I know. Go do it. Uh, I'm trying to engage. Uh, she actually did a battle rap f against you, <laughs> and I want to play it. Do it. What is going on? Your phone sucks. Taking Why? Sign. It's not working. Are you okay? Yeah. For some reason it's not working. Take it as a sign. Maybe we'll play it another time. Take it as a sign, she said. So you told me that there was going to be a song about me, and then it. <laughs> and now, oh, are you feeling like you like like there was a gift that you didn't get? Oh my God! Look at you. You're so pretty. That's the thumbnail image. Look at the camera. No, no, no. Don't that's the, do that. That's the thumbnail image. No, no, no. What? Tell me what's a rap battle like. Do it. I want to play. Schools are great in District 68. It's time to celebrate. Join in. Participate. I said schools are great in District 68. That's all I know. Who is that? Is that, is that from schools are great? Yeah, no. It was from elementary school one that we did. Are you feeling the momentum dipping? We it's, need to bring it back. Okay, do Tell it. Tell me a secret. Okay. Um, I told you already secrets. Oh. Do you have a secret? Yeah. What? Um. Oh my God. Say it. Let it out. You're shaking. Ew. Did you just... There's... Just so you know, farting is not funny. Oh, and, and, and let me, first of all, that was, I didn't really fart. That's, <laughs> that's the difference. That's why that's the difference. Say it. Anybody who thinks farting isn't funny is racist. <laughs> that's insane. It's not. Okay. No, 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 no no what are you doing fart Stop. sound <laughs> you think now the sound is gonna work <laughs> we all laughed and that's not even a good sound effect and there was no context a sound is fine but i'm just saying it, you're not allowed to fart while we're recording hey esther esther, like I, esther I will not if i have to smell you I, every time you we podcast every now and then if i fart which by the tongue. way you get at least a taste of some food will you smell my tongue no, before we start every you time? honestly and i said this on on the trash tuesday before so this is not just a today thing go get checked <laughs> You have bad tongue health. I scrape. BTH. I think it's a perfectly acceptable rule to set that I don't want any men to fart. Oh, but women could fart. If Yes. Why? Are women's farts less stinky? They... I... No, no one can fart then. What is your coffee? Why does, does it have cinnamon in it? Yeah, it's a, it's a dirty oat chai. Uh, and with half cold brew and a lot of cinnamon. Really good. Cool. It's called the Rick at my local coffee shop. Is that true? Yeah. I'm jealous. I'm going to start going to your local. I'm going to drive 30 minutes out of my way to go there and get an I Esther. Could bring you. I could bring you one. Just you want extra pumps of vanilla syrup, right? If they, yeah. You want eight? Does it cost extra? <laughs> Money's free. <laughs> How much money? Did, what's the most money you've made in a year? I'm not answering that. A hundred million. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. What Esther was that from? Bunnies. Dollhouse? Dollhouse. Dollface is the name of the show. No, I thought, you, didn't you sell doll, dollhouses as merch? Oh, yeah. Or, no, I was in A Doll's House, the play. Mm -hmm. um, Would you do Broadway? Are you kidding? Are you asking? Are you inviting me? Could we do a Broadway play together? If wait. This, if, I, have wait. It, I have it. I have go, it. I have it. Go. You just said wait like Jonathan from Queer Eye. I've never seen Wee. that. You've never seen Queer Eye? No. Oh, so good. What's your idea? Okay, if this ends up working, 
And if we were to tour, instead of like doing a live show, live podcast, we should do a live play. I've been waiting my whole we life. Should tr- we should, we pe- should, and people will come to see us, but we're just doing a, a play. A serious play. Well, you know, I would be. I don't know if you could do it. No, I, I, did you, you didn't even, did you do theater in high school? I did in college, sweetheart. So did I. Yeah. So stop. Well, then how come you don't have any award, awards for your drama acting? Because awards are meaningless and it's not really about that. Right. Yeah. Right. And I focus on the process, not the rewards at the end. What process are you focusing on right now? Um, <laughs> what pro- are you working on now? I'm a process server. Oh, that would be a fun. That would be a fun character to play in something. To I be would a be good process at server. It. Yeah, I do not. Where look. you'd have to dress up as like a witness, uh, a Jehovah Witness, and then just saying, "Psych, you got served," <laughs> and then you would do your "You got served" dance moves. <gasps> Wait, no, can we do... I used to... I had the You Got Served, Take It to the Street DVD where you learn all the dances from You Got Served. I used to do that all the time. Can I say a manifestation for us? Yeah, but could we change that verbiage? Because I feel like this idea of the only way to bring into fruition the positivity is if we manifest it as opposed to personifest it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So personifestation for us is... I think we should have a play and we can start, it could be off Broadway. Well, it probably wouldn't start on Broadway. Yeah. So we do like a month run in New York and it's an off Broadway play that we're in. Great. Done. Love it. We could call it, give me another chance. Yeah. Okay. Or anything. You know what it could be? It could be exactly what you are. <laughs> Thank you. Is this why you don't do? This is why you only do audio for yours. So they can't see the fingers. Because I heard on nose? Trash Tuesday they edit around all the times you pick your nose and belch. Where'd you hear that? From the editor of Trash Tuesday. <laughs> 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 no, what were you saying? Something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. I get amped up when like you're you have something to offer. <laughs> I really do, honestly. Like when you play back instead of going wait. Ew, you shouldn't do that. Don't do no joke. I'm not that jerk. I'm not that jerk. But that instead, is you what yes you're and. Like, it's funny. Your impression of me is exactly what you are. Great. Burn Good. Me. Sell it. Stamp it. Sign it. Seal it. I'm yours. <laughs> Process Sign, served. seal, delivered. I'm yours. I know. I know that song. What's your favorite? What if you had to? If you were auditioning for Broadway and and they for an audition, they don't need you to sing necessarily a stage I show. I want to be where the people are. Good. I want to see, want to see them dancing, strolling along on the. What's that word again? Feet. Street. Feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Husband. <laughs> up where they walk I we starting to write up where they walk up where they run up where they stay all day in the sun I oh, wanna be wish I, I could, could be part, part of, of that world. world what would I do if I could say what is it what would out I be if waters. I could see a heart of these waters uh, what, what would, would I, I give if, if I, I could, could live under the sea and <laughs> betcha on land, land they understand, understand that they, they can reprimand rep- their daughters bright young women sick of swimming ready to see <laughs> I want to be where the people are I want to see I want to see them de- that's what, it, what you're probably like getting out of the couch after you've had dinner my mom sometimes when she's trying to get up. <laughs> she, <laughs> What's going on? My mom sometimes when she's in a, a, when she's in a. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to ruin the momentum of something that I find funny <laughs> to tell a story because it wasn't you doing it. Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Whenever I feel like I have a little momentum, like you go, "Ew, what are yeah, you doing? Let's, 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 let's stop this thing." Yeah, that might be ooh, fun. yeah. <laughs> you look like <laughs> you look like the girl from The Ring before she died. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait, that's so yes. You really do see me. <laughs> no, go What's ahead. the healthiest thing you eat? <laughs> What's the healthiest thing that you eat at least a couple times a month? Okay, sometimes. I'll have a quesadilla at, without sour cream. So no, sometimes. 
Italian restaurants will do this thing and sometimes I think it's called like a tricolory salad and it's basically a salad that has radicchio and I feel like it's like you know what I'm saying yeah I'm just noticing how how the composition of the wide cam is so unattractive look at it could you get up for a sec I want to see something could you get up for a sec leave frame for one sec all the way just leave frame for one sec all the way okay Sir, just a couple more steps forward. I really want to see something for it. Yeah, that is better. But the composition is bad. We should put you on uh, the other end. Like here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you're into this. So uh, you get radicchio. That's the healthiest thing that you eat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. What about you? Do you like radicchio? It's really... I don't know what that is. Is this a cheese pasta? No, it's a bitter herb or a bitter lettuce. You bitter... like a radicchio. It's like your radicchio. So... Up where they walk. Up... Wait, you know what's really dramatic? the hour, right? <laughs> when you... What's really the best is... Do you think she's funny? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it works, right? How old are you? Cool. Where are you from? Where? Just moved. That's so cool. How would you sell if you were to be like, I just recorded this podcast with this Jewish guy who talked a lot and this, I don't know what it identifies as, but like, let me tell you what's funny about that. The, the other person, what would you say is like a strength of hers? What is, what is this? Don't you want to, I, I think yeah, it's important yeah, to know okay. how we're received. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The subtle racism is tight. I like that. Me? Yeah. Notice how much she she not only said she doesn't like boys to men, she judged me for liking them. Yeah. I don't like boys to men. That's nuts. I only... you don't like any of them when they were boys or men. It's just not my genre. Like it's not Motown my era. Motown Philly's back again. No, I like to go back further. Like right. That's not the era of music I like. You like Dionne Warwick. I do like Dionne Warwick. Sing your favorite Dionne Warwick. Um, you're putting me on the spot. Friends. Everybody needs friends. Doesn't she sing that? I don't know that Somebody song. Somebody, the troubles too. To wake you up when you're feeling blue. Friends. Everybody needs no, friends. Oh, that would be a good theme song for us. I want to get the rights to that. In all seriousness, let's... What are our announcements to our friends who are watching? Because we got to like, I just... Dionne Warwick, that's what friends are for. That's the song. You know this song. That's what friends... Are. Yeah, friends. yeah. this is my, ki my kindergarten teacher. This was her favorite song. Are we going to be able to play this? Why are you playing we, it? We could, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll just do a little bit. Oh, oh I want to watch this later. This looks like it has Elton John in it too. No, but... The good times... The bad times, knowing you can always count on me, for sure. That's what friends are for. Ooh. You know what would be fun, honestly, if you were to do like a some type of a show where you play like a reality style show where you play an actual stripper, but you could have um, tassels on your nipples or whatever. But for you to go into a strip club and do that stuff. I would love to see the, the the reaction and like how you do it because I feel like you could really get into. I like that. Yeah, like a lot of just gross guys like giving you attention. Thank you. Which I like to call Instagram. All right. Well, okay. Somebody's jealous um, of me. <laughs> his name is Rick, and I think it's a time. A time has been had. Yeah, I think we had a time. What a fun, kind of comedic, passive aggressive way to end our episode. I guess. Yeah, I guess you know we had a. A time. time and then yeah rick and esther have a time do we need to ask for videos or submissions or something like that yeah uh i'm getting hungry and the delivery was a lie it's not here there's no milkshake there's no wings so i need to go get them myself wait a minute yeah so uh do you ever have that thing where like too much saliva builds up in your mouth and you go, go you gotta go like yeah okay go <laughs> So uh, we're going to get an email address. I don't know what it is yet, but I was thinking R-A-E-H-A-T. Ray Hat. Why? Rick and Esther have a time. Okay. Or we could do have a time if that's available at Gmail. 
But whatever it is, we'll put it up here and we'll also put it in the description. Uh, right now, we don't have too much direction, so just submit any videos. If you want to talk about something you saw on the podcast, feelings you have about the two of us, if you have any questions for both of us or one of us in particular, if you have any... Don't do that. I hate when you... Please don't do that. That's... All right. <laughs> um, also, don't call me... Don't say that I am Stewie Rick anymore. Okay. Is there anything for next episode you want me to not bring up about you? Uh, you want me to not acknowledge when you're late next week? It's so crazy that you're doing that. It's so shocking. Were you late both times? No. Really? How come both? How come last time you said I'm sorry I'm late? I normally don't do this. I'm very punctual. I Did said, you say that in the hallway? I said I'm on time is late, and I was on time, and I don't like that. I like to be ten five ten minutes early. You weren't on time. We started late. I can it's see, so you know what? I can see crazy. that really bothers you. You're... So let me try. Let me say this. Let me say this. I've known you for a long time. You're never late. Honestly, you're always, I mean, the last, the only two times we did this, you were late and you were late when we did the other one. But like, I know on other stuff, you're not. So, and I know like, I don't know by, what by this 1 30 p.m., you have your because wings. I, you it, never wait a minute after that. It starts at noon. And I literally, because it was hard to park, got here at 12.01. Right. And he was like, like, you know when the Hulk starts to change into the Hulk? Why like, is he changing with his hands? I feel like in my mind, his hands go first. That was is that because he, you've seen people put on Hulk gloves? Like Hulk smash he gloves? He literally looked like like my me being here at 12.01. I actually have on and camera. And I'm such an on-time person. It's like you were, like something was filling your veins with like yeah, heat. Yeah, I work out. And rage. Smelling your body the way you just did that no. suddenly. You went like this. You made fun of me so you could go like this. You ever notice you turn into Hulk and like your body? I was not and it goes doing like this. that. I literally have to itch my nose. Well, stop eating the foods you're eating. You know what? We should try to get a sponsor of um of uh, uh Benadryl. Zyrtec? A Benadryl sponsor. Okay. So you get to eat whatever you want <laughs> and then just go to sleep and I'll podcast. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Rick and Esther have a time. Hey Esther, I guess we had a time go <laughs> no i i, I yeah i think you're the best yeah it's also we should do what they do at the end of roasts where they go all jokes aside yes yeah you're you, my best friend yeah you've been there for me there are all the times i've ever had <laughs> are you making fun of deaf people what the way you were just doing that you go to such weird places i guess i just take swings and take chances because i'm pushing myself good for you which is what Dave does whenever he's trying to get you up the stairs. <laughs> That's another episode of Gold Time Time. Well, make sure you tune in next week um, for, you know, and I'll see you then. Okay. How do we end? Okay. Bellissima.